More than a dozen British soldiers are taking part in the Army's biggest training exercise this year, but somewhat unfortunately not as allies. They're simulating the role of the enemy during manoeuvres in Canada, where they're using laser equipment instead of live ammunition. At the barrel end here, you have uh, the laser which is situated inside the actual barrel itself, um, which is then aligned inside through and it goes inside the turret. Uh, also we have sensors all over the vehicle, uh, from the radiant from the barrel uh, all the way to the top up here, uh, where you have sensors. Um, we can detect when the, uh, an enemy vehicle uh, lasers yourself or shoots yourself, um, it then detects that you've been hit and it detects where it's been hit. So for the barrel, if it gets damaged on the barrel, you'd have a, a, a K-kill or a kill from there, and so on and so forth onto the turret, you'd say you have a, a turret kill, and so on and so forth like that. 16 soldiers from Royal Horse Artillery are taking part in what is being billed as the biggest game of laser quest ever. Practically though, it gives troops the chance to ready themselves for conventional warfare rather than counterinsurgency operations. You learn a lot more about the vehicles. Um, obviously in camp we will work with them day to day but we don't really have the problems that we experience out here with the, with the vehicles. Um, like today so far we've, we've sort of had a few more points that we haven't had. I've never seen before in camp um, that the vehicles sort of break down a lot more out here because they get used a lot more but then also that they sort of wear in a bit better as well. The troops will return to the UK at the end of September.